Okay, here we are subsoiling the uh, pasture uh, out by where we've put in uh, swales. And you can see what this looks like is about every four feet, Jim is cutting in a, a slit uh, about 18 inches deep with the subsoiler. And what that does is introduces oxygen and water uh, into the deeper layers of the soil so that you literally start building compost from the bottom of the trench up. Uh, Sir Albert Howard, uh, one of the founders of organic agriculture, big proponent of subsoiling. And uh, we've seen it done in practice. And after a period of time, uh, you can start turning clay into loam just by getting more water and, and oxygen uh, down into the lower areas. Uh, it doesn't matter that there's quite a bit of clumping going on because this is pasture. It'll all settle out. It'll get trampled in eventually. But the, the best part about this is that as you can see on these hillsides, when the water starts sheeting down, first the swales catch it and whatever gets over the swales uh, starts hitting the uh, slits. Uh, this is actually called key lining and the water as it goes down the field uh, fills up the slit raises up fills up overflows uh, goes to the next one and so you are literally slowing all the water down that's wanting to race off out of your field and you keep catching it in these these uh, key lines and sinking it into the ground uh, even further uh, I'm going to try to get a shot of what it looks like uh, right at the back of the tractor here as Jim's going. Uh, another way to do this with a key line plow, you need a bigger tractor because you've got more uh, shovels going on with a key line plow. You also have like a little squirrel cage that uh, works up the, the clods and straighten and levels them out. So here you go. Just keep going. <coughs> There it is, subsoiling in action. It's really, all it's doing is cutting a slit down in, down in the ground. You can see there's a, a shovel. The shovel gives a little lift. And, uh, and that's why you get these, these ridges here. So we're gonna do this, do this whole field here. And uh, it, it's something that should be done like every year. It's spring here. Uh, it's a great time to do it. We're going to start getting uh, spring rains. And now we're going to keep catching more of the rain and sending it down in the ground. Uh, we'll come back out here later and show you how well uh, it's working as, the, as the, the grass out here is gonna pick up like crazy. So, very simple practice. When I first ordered this at the local implement dealer, uh, they had no idea what a subsoiler was, what it did, they knew nothing about it. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, as far as what I've heard, what I've read, this is really a, a pretty, pretty critical thing to be doing, uh, certainly in pasture. If you're pasturing animals, you got no reason not to do this. You have every reason to do this. So there it is, subsoiling. Look at all that water we're going to catch and sink into the ground. It used to run off. Now it doesn't run off anymore. You should do this too. Have a great day.